Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the eTrailer kayak carrier with tie downs here on our 2015 Subaru Forester. Now, if you're starting to want to get in kayaking, it can be a little daunting to pick which one. Now, the eTrailer brand is going to get you a lot of those bells and whistles that you might see from some of those more premium uh, options. However, not going to be nearly as break of the bank for ourselves today. And we are talking about kayak carriers, things we want to keep in mind. We are want to have a lot of good contact. We want to have a lot of good protection for our kayak as it makes contact with our carrier. But we also want to make sure that we are making this quick and easy for ourselves. That way we're not spending so much time worrying about our carrier and that way we can get to where we want to go in relatively no time. And I think that's where each trailer really starts kind of showing itself up on the kayak here. As you can see, it is going to have a nice little foam paddings here. This J-style mount going to be fitting most of our kayaks with no problem. And with 150 pounds capacity as well, I think we're gonna have no trouble at all even getting those really, really big kayaks up on here. The only thing you might have an issue with is actually getting up above your head. So I might recommend getting a second pair of hands if you are reaching that weight limit. It also isn't gonna take too much time to install here, which is gonna be great. We'll break that down a little bit, but I do wanna point out this strap kit that comes with it. Now I think this is actually a pretty big advantage over some of the other ones in the market. A couple things that are great about it, you're getting this nice little bungee cord here just to start tightening down that extra strappage. That way it's not flowing around, bumping onto our car, kind of, you know, pulling around and causing any kind of distraction on the road. Nice that we can get that nice and secure. We don't have to have an extra thing. It is just attached to that strap, as you can see. And also this cam buckle system works great for, yes, just tightening this down and making sure we are getting a lot of pressure on our kayak to make sure it's secure to our carrier. But it also comes with this nice kind of like a vinyl covering on our cam buckle. What's great about that, when this, if this is making contact with our kayak, it won't be causing any kind of damage, and it keeps the weather elements out of our cam buckle, which can really start lengthening its time and lifespan. On the ends too, you'll notice we do have bow and stern straps to hopefully keep our kayak from tilting. Those are definitely recommended, and definitely needed in my opinion. When you are doing a lot of highway driving, you're gonna start really feeling that, especially as the wind starts picking up. So great that we have those so quick and easy to access. So as you mentioned, this is gonna come with a bow and stern strap. I was just gonna give us a quick look of how we actually have this secured. You'll notice on the end here that we do have this nice foam anchor. Now these are commonly referred to as dog bones. And what's great about them is that we don't actually have to have a hard contact point like we would with like an S hook. We're not looking for a metal fitting or anything we have to come and kind of hold on to our frame. All I have to do is set this dog bone inside our car, close the hood on it, and it's gonna give me a great temporary contact point to start securing my kayak. And that makes it great and easy to put on a host of A, different vehicles in different places, but be inside of our Subaru. We're not having to worry about damaging that frame or hooking it anywhere. We can just go ahead and make ourselves a contact point. So we've gone ahead and removed the bound stern straps. Now I wanna go ahead and actually remove our straps that are holding us to our carrier. As we mentioned before, we do have that nice bungee cable kind of holding that exit strap. Comes off pretty easy with a nice pressure though. And to start loosening our cam buckle, I wanna go ahead and remove that cover. Just simply allow those teeth to disengage and start removing our strap. Now one thing I do wanna point out is how we actually have this through our carrier. So you'll notice that we have two straps coming over the top of our carrier. In the back of our J-Style, we do have a run going from the top point of contact across our kayak down. We wanna take it underneath our roof rack system to give us another point of contact. And then through our carrier, makes it really easy to get this nice and tight and secure to our carrier with no trouble at all. Once we have it all the way undone, we can just simply pull it all the way through and remove our strap. With our straps taken off, we can go ahead and actually remove the kayak. Now what I like to do is to actually utilize the carrier to help me make this dismount. What I want to do is I want to start shifting this weight to where the top end is going to want to fall to me so I can get my second hand on it. So to do so, I want to just push this closer to the inside of our carrier. You can see that it's going to want to tilt itself, falling down to me. You can see I'm utilizing our carrier to kind of get some of that weight. I'm really not putting any much pressure on here, just kind of balancing it on my carrier. Makes it really easy to start shifting that weight to myself and take it off. With the kayak removed, I wanted to go ahead and give us a closer look. You'll notice you get a closer look of these foam blockers here. These are doing a good job of making sure we don't have any friction on our carrier with our kayak so we don't cause any damage. They are pretty nice and thick, and I think they are gonna be pretty easy to clean clean because they are somewhat of like that marine kind of foam 
where it takes it, makes it really easy to pull this guy off and start rinsing them if we have any kind of mud or debris from our kayak that's been transferring. You'll also notice we have this little kind of springy hold on the middle here. Now I don't see our kayaks making a ton of contact with this all the time, but it is nice just to have a little bit of shock absorption if we were needing it. And also what really starts setting this guy apart is its folding capabilities. So what's great about it, you can see these little teeth here. I'm gonna go ahead and disengage. And if we needed to, we could go ahead and set this further back if we had a bigger kayak, if we were really worried about it. But the biggest thing with it is we can actually fold it down and actually start condensing it for ourselves. And that way, we don't have any issue pulling into drive throughs garages, and of course, it just starts giving us a nice low profile look on here. It is gonna be made of a lightweight aluminum, so they're extremely lightweight to throw up, and we are gonna be knowing it is gonna be resistant to corrosion, as that aluminum is gonna be doing a good job of hanging on here, even in severe weather. How this actually mounts, though, is really, really simple. On the underside here, you'll notice that we just have these little hand knobs to actually spin these guys. So it becomes really easy to take these guys on and off. And however, it's also kind of indicative of it's really only flaw in my opinion, guys. As you'll probably notice, we don't have a way of actually securing this to our roof without a lock of some kind. So unfortunately, our really only security measure that we can take is actually popping this guy off and putting him in our vehicle. You can see how easy that is to do though. It only takes a few seconds just have that hinge flange there. That simply goes around our post and we can run it back in. So it makes it really easy to take this on and off. I wanted to go ahead and give us a couple dimensions though. From the top of our roof to the top of our carrier here, we are gonna be looking about right at 21. I'm sorry guys, 21 and a quarter inches there to the top of our bar. However, I wanna go ahead and give us a quick look just with our roof rack system here with the sport rider, the sport rack I should say. Putting us about 17 and one quarter inches to the top there from our roof rack system. Now these guys are a bit more low profile from some of the other ones I've seen out there. So give or take, you might have an inch or so depending on your roof rack system. If I were to condense this down though, bringing this arm in and locking it like so, we are gonna be having four and one quarter inches to the top of our post from our roof rack system. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a closer look here. A little hard with our guys sticking away from our roof like so. And putting us right under 10 inches there. So about nine and three quarters from the top of the roof to the top of our position there. Definitely gonna have no trouble at all getting this in the garage or those drive throughs as you can see. And I really do like how that collapsible makes it just really nice to actually get underneath our height requirements. Well guys, I think the e-trailer kayak carry is gonna be great, especially if you are just starting to get into kayaking. As you mentioned, as you saw, you are getting a lot of those great premium features. The biggest takeaway for me though, if you are finding yourself utilizing this a lot on the weekends and you are starting to get worried about security measures, I might recommend going up to the Akima JLo. It is gonna have a locking core that you can get for it. However, it definitely doesn't take any time at all to go ahead and remove these guys from our roof rack, put them in the vehicle, and they will be nice and secure. Well, I think that about does it for our look at the e-trailer kayak carrier with tie downs here on our 2015 Subaru Forester. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.